Okay guys, so before we go into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I am now a Tom and, is that how you say it? I think it is Tom and Music partner. And that means that I have an affiliate link down there in the description. Every time you guys basically click on my link and go through to Tom and, and buy anything, it credits my account and then when I want new gear for the channel and that credit mounts up by all your guys, all you guys that are purchasing stuff, um, I can use that to buy stuff to get more gear onto the channel and that's what it's going to be used for. So it's a really cool thing and um, uh, if you are in the UK or anywhere in the EU and you want to use that link it is very much appreciated and it supports the channel. Also there are some other affiliate links down there as well that you can click on. One of them is very important, it's a Celestian IR link, affiliate link and when you click on that I actually earn money goes into my bank. It's not very much but it's better than nothing you know what I mean and uh, those Celestian IRs are what I've been using in videos for quite a long time. So if you buy one of these amps and you want it to sound exactly like the video, then that's what you need to do. Um, if you're wondering how I get the IRs to you guys out there in YouTube world, then I am using a Two Notes Captain X behind me, um, which is a great piece of kit. It's absolutely fantastic. If you are recording anything, uh, especially a loud tube amp, you know, it's, it's a great piece of kit. In the room when I'm jamming here in this demo, I'm going to be hearing this uh, through a... a uh, Celestian V30 Hesu 212. You guys out there will be hearing a Celestian V30 212 Dark. Okay, very similar to the Hesu actually. I've actually matched something tried to purposely find one. So that's what you guys are listening to. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. A while ago, when I first ordered this guitar here, which is a Jackson Brandon Ellis signature model, Kelly, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, but I'm not going to talk about that too much. What I'm going to talk about is this pickup in here. As you can see there, it's a Seymour Duncan Parallel Access. And the reason I want to talk about this pickup is because when I first started this guitar, I was intrigued to know about the pickup. And I spoke to my artist relation. I said, I'm a bit unsure about this pickup. I've not used one for years. Last time I used one was in a Hamer. Is, is that how you say it? I don't know. I don't know whether they're even still going that brand. Um, and I wasn't in, into a good rig then. You know, I wasn't playing to a good rig, so I didn't really have a good opinion on it. But my artist relation at the time said, if you like JBs, you will like this pickup. So what I said was, basically, the EVH EL34S here, the, the EL34 Stealth version, 100 watt, if you can see it in shot, that amp there is really sensitive to pickups because of the amount of gain it has. So like, I don't like EMGs really, or that type of pickup, or a distortion, see my distortion, through that particular amp. Whereas this Stealth here, the 6L6 version, the 50 watt, I love those pickups through it. Um, it's just the way it is. I think it's because it has so much insane gain um, on tap. That head really is, if you're into tons of gain, that head is just crazy. It's definitely the most, you know, the wildest out of all the EVH amps. So for me, a JB, what I found, I was playing a Charvel, had a JB in it. I found that the JB sounded better and made the amp sound fantastic. And I fell in love with the amp even more than I already was in love with it when I switched from using EMGs through it into um, using the JB. Now, my artist relation going back to what we're talking about, which is the parallel access here, said if you like the JB through the EL34S and you will love the parallel access. And he's absolutely right. This is the first time I've tried this guitar through the amp. Because this amp is at the bottom of the pile and because it's expensive, basically, I put a cover on it and that kind of stops me using it as much as I usually would, but it is a colossal, monstrous beast of an amp. And you forget when you've not used it for so long how amazing the amp is. In this video, I'm just using this guitar straight into the amp. There's nothing else going on. It's just an EVH cable straight into the front of the amp. I think it sounds great. I really love it. And what I found was that the amount of gain on the amp that usually you have to kind of control, so if you're using something like EMGs or distortions through it, what I found was that with, th with this guitar and this pickup, I could pile it on. So in this demo, it's a short one, it's just a power chord, old school thrashy metal style riff that just came out by accident when I was playing. I've used that take. I've got the blue distortion on. It's not even the red channel, it's the blue one. And I've waxed the gain up full, which is something I just would not even consider doing with this amp. It's got that much gain. But it sounds pretty good, and I think it's down to the parallel access pickup here. I think it's a really good match for this amp. So for you guys that are rockers, sorry <laughs> that I'm not, you know, doing like a rock demo. Obviously I've got a metal guitar in my hand, so I'm just automatically playing metal. But um, it would be suited as well if you are like a rock player and you are experimenting with the L34S and you're putting different pickups and stuff through it and wondering what will work and what won't. 
The Parallax this is worth trying because it sounds great, so it's a really good match, really clear and the gain is just amazing, it's tight, it's punchy and it's bright as well and yeah it sounds fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think of the actual tone, uh, let me know what you think of the guitar if you want, let me know what you think of the parallel axis pickup and uh, yeah we're good to go. I'll see you all very soon and thanks for watching.